Who remembers Dennis the Menace? Dennis the Menace had this this one tool that he liked to use and it was what he used to cause mayhem and trouble and of course in general the name Dennis the Menace comes from him being such a a disturber if we could call it that but he used this tool that was the slingshot and if you're aware of a slingshot it's got these two I guess it's like a forked piece of wood or something with a band and then you put this little projectile in there whatever it could be sometimes it's a ball sometimes it's a rock it could be almost anything and then you grab the handle you put that thing and you pull it back and you pull it back and you pull it back and then you release it this release is um there's a, there's a relationship, the further back you pull it, the harder, the faster it goes. And sometimes, I, I want you to consider this slingshot metaphor for what's going on with you. Because sometimes you're moving towards this goal, you've aimed for it, and you're getting ready to succeed with it in some way. And in some instances, you feel like resistance, and more resisted and more resisted. And you start to look around and you're like, I'm going backwards, aren't I? Like you're thinking you're going backwards and things are not working your way. But realistically, you're not going backwards. You're loading this elastic. You're loading yourself to get released and projected forward farther than you started. Because even when you start that slingshot, you're right here. You pull it all the way back. And then when that moment finally happens, let go and this thing explodes right off and it flies and it flies until it gets somewhere that it's never been before. And you will get somewhere you've never been before, but you have to go through this tension. You have to go through this resistance. You have to go through this doubt where you think you may be even going backwards. And you ask yourself, is all this effort worth it? Is all this tension worth it? Is all this pain and suffering and effort that I'm putting in day in and day out, is it worth it? And sometimes you don't realize it's worth it until you've been projected exactly where you need to go. Sometimes in that experience, a lot of people sort of just, ah, forget it. I'm not going to do it. And they give up. They never get launched. They never get to take off to where they need to go because they give up and they talk themselves out of it. So I want you to consider when you're having a hard time, when you're feeling tough and there's tension and resistance and you're, um, am I going backwards with this? Just remember, you're in that slingshot and you're being tensed up, you're being loaded, you're being pulled back just enough so that you can be released and arrive exactly where you need to arrive. <laughs>